everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. It is Wednesday and we spent the last couple of days um, troubleshooting the graph doc, graph doc, graph <laughs> again. It is the third week of having it and we're getting somewhere now with the kit reformat and just in general, Tom installed like a firmware update. We updated the software because I didn't realise that we weren't using <laughs> the up to date versions. Um, so he installed those and things have changed a lot. The main thing is that it feels like it's cutting slower now. So I think it's like a common tip that if you're cutting something intricate or you're having issues with your cuts, you should slow the speed down. Initially I was cutting on speed 20, finding it wasn't working, so I'd set it to speed 10 and the graph tech can actually do speed five, which I didn't know about. So I did this and it didn't seem to make a difference. And as soon as we updated the firmware and the software, we used speed 10 and both of us looked at each other and we were like, this is really slow now. <laughs> And I don't think it had actually been reducing the speed when I'd set it to do it before. So that was one problem. I don't know why this happened. And to be fair, like it, it always felt quick. And I thought, oh, it's just like a better machine. Maybe 10 speed on the graph tech doesn't correlate to 10 speed on the silhouette. I still don't think it really does, but it definitely wasn't doing it. So one thing is that we've slowed the speed down, working a lot better. The other thing is that I've done the kit reformat now. I've got the sheets here that I've tested. So I've got the standard vertical kit, the mini kit and the add-ons. Please don't mind the colors <laughs> or the patterns. I've been messing with them just on Photoshop. Initially everything was red, then it was gray. I've got bits of green and then I've settled on these colors just to differentiate um, the, the four colours that would be in the kit. So I cut those this morning. It honestly took me, <laughs> I mentioned it in the last vlog, I was like, maybe I'll do it on, maybe I'll do it on Sunday. It took me part of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and yesterday to finish the reformat and I was working on it pretty solidly. I've ended up moving things around between the pages. The main thing I did was create all the graphics from scratch because a lot of the shapes, I guess, that's called the sticker design shapes. A lot of the shapes are from when I made my first ever kit format in like 2016 or whenever it was. I basically made the shapes in Photoshop and every time I did a reformat, I just copied and pasted the same shapes. I never changed them. So I redid them all this time because I knew that I wanted to like make everything a little bit bigger, have a thicker outline change some of like the padding on the stickers. So I finished the designs and the cut lines. The dog wants to come in. It's snowing outside. It's March, it's freezing, it's so cold. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I was saying. This has been chaotic. So this morning I tested the cuts and if you're missing the context, I basically took all the intricate parts of the kit out. They're gonna be on a separate quarter sheet. So something about this big, instead of being part of the main six kit sheets. Sorry about the background noise. The dog is now doing like post outside zoomies. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you the kit. So like I said, ignore the fact that the colors are weird. So we've got the full box page exactly the same. This is page two and it looks a bit familiar, but it's got things from page three on it. Page three is now like very box heavy. I did some more quarter boxes, which I think are a welcome addition. Page four is reasonably familiar because you've got your little things and your glitter headers together. You've got more boxes and some rescheduled flags. Page five still has your ombre boxes, but you've got your appointment boxes, third boxes, square labels and the flags. And then page six has your date covers and washi with your extra box and some washi strips along the bottom. The mini kit is a three page kit and page one is the same. Page two has all of your half boxes, your flags, your date covers. So this kind of looks a bit more familiar. You've got your square boxes, your flags, your extra full box and your habit tracker. And then page three, you've got your washi strips like usual, loads of square boxes in different sizes, your little things, one of which is the normal size that they are in the mini kit and the other one is a little bit shorter. It's the same as a small appointment box and you've got your two rows of glitter headers as well. So those are the kits. Obviously you do get your extra deco page, whatever we want to call it as well. And the add-ons are exactly the same in contents, but they look different because I've flipped things. So this is the glitter add-on. Your glitter headers did used to be at the bottom and your boxes are now kind of reordered in a way that lets me cut them a bit more efficiently. The box add-on is pretty much the same as it was. You'll probably recognize things a bit better when it is actually a kit. And you've still got your skinny glitter strip along the bottom. But I'm just really excited to put designs into these because 
you can't really get a feel <laughs> for what it's gonna look like but I just feel like they're such better kits now especially if you color block I think things are organized in a much nicer way and obviously it cuts better which is the main reason we did all this I mean the only reason really I think it probably would have been like a nice thing to have done on the silhouettes just because I think things are going to cut neater but the graph tech really benefits from this kind of format it's more uniform and then you probably won't notice this as a customer but all my boxes are like perfectly aligned which I think is a big thing that the graph tech was struggling with before so Tom has been helping me in the office this week he's been cutting all the extra releases from last week because I ended up with bits and bobs things that were oops a lot of things that weren't oops but the counterpart to it was oops so he's been filling in the gaps pretty much got sheets here that are I think these are add-ons these are extras, we've got some oops around. This is my new guillotine, but I'll show you that when I use it next, but it's very fancy. I love it a lot. We did print a bunch of premium matte that is not cooperating on the graph tech, so I'm gonna cut that on the silhouettes. We even tried to put it in a jug to like counteract the curl. Like the paper is really curly, so this is just how it is naturally. So I put it in the jug like the other way, like this basically. I can't do it one-handed. Um, and then it just curled too much the other way, <laughs> so that was a fail. I've also got March freebies to cut as well, so I'm gonna get cracking on those because I've got some orders that I want to do tomorrow. So much snow today. I don't know if you can see the size of the snowflakes. They are huge. What are we doing today? Making stickers. What do we do every day? Make stickers. It's <laughs> our hard new slogan. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, that TikTok's like, hooray. <laughs> so weirdly, this is the deco sheet of the monthly that I thought we were gonna have to do on the silhouettes. But Tom was like, just try it on the graph tech. So we did, and it's actually cutting really well. So we finished cutting the monthlies. I was having such a hard time doing them on the silhouettes yesterday. I like tried rearranging the sheets. I've got like the strip of doodles right, and they were cutting. The silhouette has never really done this. They were cutting fine over here, but not here. And I had the file set up so it was just like one on top of each other and then I tried rotating it like this for some reason um, which didn't help so we did just put them on the graph tech in the end and it cut much better um, I'm looking at it now and it's pretty much perfect and they are all the same <sighs> I feel like it's gonna be a pattern of me being like oh it's working really well everything's the same and then everything is chaos again <laughs> but Tom is so much more patient than me <laughs> he's like been such a huge help this week getting the graph tech like back on track um, and it's working quite well so I've just designed the mystery in the new format and I'm gonna start cutting that tomorrow or like over the weekend and I'm really hopeful that it will just work I don't know what I'm gonna do about premium yet I might have to just do like a version of the files for the silhouettes and cut premium on that there is another paper that I've been recommended to try which is the like online labels weatherproof paper it's so expensive like it's over double my current price so I don't really want to use it <laughs> like I think I would rather cut on the silhouettes I know time is money and stuff but I don't know if time is that much money <laughs> per sheet premium might cut better in the like reformatted design so I'll try that um, and then if it doesn't work, I'll just do the silhouette version. But yeah, really weird because to me, the graph tech is more of a vinyl machine. I expected to have trouble cutting my paper sticker paper, like, you know, like my normal, like copy paper type paper. I thought that would be the problem, but it's actually the vinyl. It stopped snowing now. We had a bit of rain, so the snow has kind of washed away a little bit. Super icy though. I wanted to do the post run today, but, um, like we didn't really want to risk like going out again to the big post office. Well, I haven't done the orders anyway. I was going to do them today, but I'm going to do them tonight and drop them off tomorrow. I did decide to skip new releases this week because I want to sort of get caught up with the mystery and the new format and everything. If I did them tomorrow, I don't think I would get everything done this week. And then I would go into next week 
being behind. And I'm basically like worried that I'm gonna stay in that cycle. Um, so I'm gonna skip new releases this week, focus on the mystery on the weekend, and try and start next week, like, everything being up to date. This isn't related, but I have a question, <laughs> if anyone knows. Um, I've started to get like dry patches, like on like the inside of my elbow, like up my arm, and I've never had eczema, but it, it seems like eczema. Um, so I started putting like uh, E45 and Sudocrem on it. I don't know if that's the right thing or not. Um, probably shouldn't be asking YouTube for medical advice, but here we are. Anyway, the most annoying thing, aside from like having the itchy dry arms, is that it gets on my pillow and my hair gets really greasy <laughs> from the cream. That I think that's it. I can't think of anything else that would suddenly cause like extra greasy hair. Normally my hair doesn't get greasy for like five days and I'm not even going like two or three days without getting greasy. It's really annoying. So that's fun, but I guess my question more is, what do you use for eczema? <laughs> because I remember growing up, my friend used to use this thing from the body shop. It was like the hemp body shop body butter. The hemp body shop body butter. Yeah, they still have it. Maybe I'll get that. Is that good? Has anyone tried it? Um, thinking out loud here. Um, but she swore by that for her eczema after like using E45 that was prescribed from the doctor. But Tom said he used to use E45 as well and I think it was fine. I don't know, but I don't know if I've got like the right E45. I've got like a lotion, but we struggle to find it at all. E45 body lotion. Maybe it is, no, I think I've got a lotion and maybe I want the cream. Hmm, well, thanks for talking me through that. But long story short, I'm getting really greasy hair and it's annoying, <laughs> but I don't want the itchy arms either. Like I can't win. So I'm gonna do orders now. Tom did cut the March freebies for me. I was a little bit late designing them, but they are blue and green. You've got a little sailboat, a coffee, a camera, a TV, a design stickers, a paintbrush, a happy mail. I don't know if you could even see that or if it's just focusing on me. Um, I cut a little pill packet and knife and fork because um, knife and fork was actually like requested. I did a thing in the Facebook group. I meant to mention this in last week's vlog and I forgot. But basically I changed um, the kits. I said this, didn't I? Oh my God, my brain. So I took the weekend banner, doodles, deco, and the chat boxes, like the little tiny chat boxes, out of the main kit and put them on a separate page. And it created space for six more doodles. So in the Facebook group, I was like, please vote for your favorite ones or new doodles that you want to be included in the kit. And I'll, I'll change them because it's been like three years. They've not changed like at all since I decided them. And Knife and Fork, which is this one, was like super requested. And I think I've only ever used this icon in the monthly kit. So I was really surprised that it was popular. So I'm gonna release that as a multicolor one and it's now in kits. So I hope you like the Knife and Fork icon. I completely forgot about it, to be honest. I don't know how because it's super versatile. Well, yeah, versatile, I guess for a meal or eating. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's a good one to have. So um, that's the March freebie. Let's do orders. So I'm just finishing off orders, then we're gonna go and post them. Tom is making like a roast beef dinner, which I'm really excited about because he doesn't normally do like big meals kind of cooking. So first time he's ever doing that and he's doing it on his own. Um, he's like asking me a few questions, but like, I'm not the best chef either. So it's like the blind leading the blind, but I'm excited for that. I'm cutting the mystery as we speak. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a question? I didn't want to part in. So I'm cutting the mystery in the new format and it's going really well, like suspiciously well. Although I, I don't think it's suspiciously well, it's just like my bad look on the graphic has made me start to be like dubious of it. Um, but yeah, it's going really well. I obviously can't show you because it's the mystery. Um, but this is my like first big run of the new format on the new machine and it's going well. I've just done page one at the minute, but I'm on the 18th copy and I've not had an oops yet. I'm checking them periodically, but I can also kind of flick through the stack um, and see if there's anything like untoward going on. So it's pretty quick to check the oops. And then the only other thing to update you on is we've got a load of snow. This is the garden today. 
think I showed it you yesterday, but we just had more overnight. It did rain and like kind of wash away a lot, but we've still got loads now. And then I did, I've skipped releases today, but I've uh, restocked a load of scripts that I cut over the last couple of weeks. So this is like a really chunky box now. I've not really got much room to like flick through. The ones I restocked are ones I cut on the graph tech. And these are all my oops from that same period, which is a little bit sad a lot of them are just like the same one sheet that oops and then some of them don't have really any oops per design but i think the graph text should be able to do scripts so i'll revisit that at some point So post run is done, I'm still cutting the mystery, we're making really good progress. I've cut all of the sun and vertical kits in removable mat. I know I said I was going to do all the fashion add-on boxes on the silhouette, but I've actually made a template so I can cut them on the graph tech and I think it'll be pretty quick. So I can just cut the sheet in half on the guillotine in both directions and it should be pretty quick to cut them so I'm going to do a similar one for the tall fashion boxes as well. I've had quite a lot of admin to do today, tax stuff which is never fun so I'm going to look for some artwork now to uh, release next week because I do want to get back on track with regular releases. Uh, for, ooh, I'm just seeing a really pretty Starbucks poster that I do not need so I'm going to close that tab. <laughs> so I definitely want to use this set. So it's called Evening Unwind, really pretty like peachy pink, blue and green for other scenes. So I'm definitely going to do this. There is the coronation art actually from Digiberry, which I'll probably release soon as well. So it is like a British street party themed for the coronation with um, our new king this year. I don't know when the coronation is. I think it's like May or April. So I'll probably do this. And then we'll also do some doodles and scripts. I've got doodles ready, so I might do some of those. Um, I need to go down the request list and see what I've got available to release that's been asked for. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this week's vlog here so I can edit it. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.